Okay, so we're going to talk about cortisol and how good and bad it, it can be for the body. Okay, so it's a stress hormone. So if I was to make you jump, first off adrenaline comes out the adrenal gland, okay, and after that you kind of calm down, you shake. Okay, that's cortisol being released into the system. So we try and keep cortisol, cortisol <laughs> under control most of the time. It's good for weight loss. Okay, so if you say someone lives on their nerves and usually they're, they're, quite, um, they're quite thin, it's because they've got a lot of muscle wasters as well. Okay, so they really are releasing the head of a lot of cortisol. So sleep deprivation comes with cortisol. It's a really vicious cycle. So the more cortisol you release, okay, you might try and sleep, you won't be able to sleep, so the more cortisol you release, okay, so you need sleep to be able to kill cortisol, and then it's just this nasty vicious cycle, and throughout the day you feel edgy, irritable, don't want to work out, feel cold, good signs of cortisol, are cold hands, nose, ears, feet, okay, generally not feeling great in terms of like shape, not feeling strong, no real well-being. For me, as someone that builds muscle, okay, and likes to keep fit, I try not to stress too much because stress releases cortisol. And cortisol is my one of my main enemies. I need it in my diet, in my uh, in my life to lose weight though. Okay? And we generally manipulate that around workouts. So before I work out, I'll eat three hours away from my workout and eat carb, make sure I eat carbohydrates. I'll explain this in a second. Okay, and make sure I eat my proteins and my fats as well. So in the workout, my cortisol levels are quite high so I haven't got carbohydrates present to kill cortisol. And I'm gonna explain that as well in a minute. Okay, so now I'm burning fat through cortisol. Now towards the end of my workout, I start bringing in liquid carbohydrates, which is glucose, and that starts to lower my cortisol levels and raise my growth hormone and my testosterone, okay? It just does. So I start getting an insulin spike and that raise, raises my growth and testosterone. Okay, so um, carbohydrates, and one of the best ways of lowering cortisol. So this is why when people are feeling stressed or a little bit down, they turn to comfort foods such as carbohydrates. It's not always they want to eat it, it's just some reason their body knows that it eats that, it calms them down. Then they get the adverse effects of afterwards, they wish they hadn't have eaten it, then they feel fat, <laughs> and they feel uncomfortable, and then they get a vicious cycle back and cortisol starts to raise again. Some people do, most people do in fact, some people don't. So carbohydrate is really good for lowering cortisol. Vitamin C is majorly good for lowering cortisol. Okay, and other things as well, which I will list. So um, we need to keep it under control. We don't completely want it out of us because we need to use it a little bit, but it needs to be kept under control. Because otherwise, if not, our training becomes terrible. Our nutrition goes down the hill, goes downhill. Your metabolism majorly drops. Your immune system goes really, gets really stressed out as well. Okay, so it's just something that you need to be aware of. And if it's, it's a little side effect, you're thinking, why, am I why do I feel so shaky all the time? Why am I so cold? Let me think about it. Am I stressed at work? Is my nutrition off? Am I not sleeping enough? Okay, you need to be getting at least eight hours sleep. And it's not eight hours we need, it's four hours we need, but we, eat, we, we sleep for eight hours, so we can at least try and cover a good four hours of sleep. If you could go to bed for four hours and make sure you slept for four hours, that's fine. That's all you really need. That's what your body really needs, okay? But I'm like, if I haven't made this clear enough, or you're not too sure, okay, just contact me and I'll clear it up, okay? Or I'll do another video or whatever and I'll answer your question by text and email. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one, okay? Thanks a lot. Bye.